Shadowed Battlegrounds presents The Viper's Tune, Rome Beckons. Chapter 5, Friends in High Places. The air inside the ancient church crackled with tension as Vaxion emerged from the shadows, his silver-streaked hair gleaming in the moonlight filtering through the shattered, stained glass windows. He smiled coldly, his eyes locking with Viktor Petrovich and Pamela Fedora, who stood ready to confront him. So it has come to this, Vaxion sneered, his voice as smooth and calculating as ever. Victor stepped forward, his expression unwavering. This ends tonight, Vaxion. Your reign of terror is over. Without another word, the battle erupted. Vaxion moved with inhuman speed, his strikes sharp and deadly. Victor and Pamela fought side by side, their combined strength barely keeping up with Vaxion's overwhelming power. The sound of shattering glass and crumbling stone echoed through the church as the ancient walls trembled under the force of the battle. Despite their resolve, it was clear Vaxion had come prepared. He fought with a ferocity that caught Victor off guard. But it was not just his strength that made him dangerous. It was his cunning. His blows were precise, aimed to weaken and divide his enemies. Pamela, her long red hair flowing in the moonlight, fought valiantly, but Vaxion's power was immense. She was knocked back, crashing into the crumbling stone of the church wall. For a moment, it seemed Vaxion might win. But then, the unexpected happened. The church doors burst open, and the Vampire Council's enforcers stormed inside. They had been tracking Vax Sion's movements, waiting for the right moment to strike. His followers, his trusted lieutenants, were quickly overwhelmed by the Council's forces. One by one, Vax Sion's loyal servants were either destroyed or captured, their rebellion crushed. Vaxion, seeing his empire collapsing, let out a furious growl. His eyes burned with hatred as he faced Victor. You haven't won, Petrovich, he hissed. This isn't over. Before Victor could land the final blow, Vaxion's form shimmered, and in a burst of shadows he vanished into the night, leaving his defeated forces behind. Victor could only watch as the dark mist of Vaxion's escape drifted into the night air, disappearing over the moonlit horizon. The battle was over, but Vaxion had escaped. The return to New Orleans. With Vaxion's forces in disarray and his empire shattered, Victor and Pamela knew they had won a significant victory, but there was no celebration. Vaxion was still out there plotting his revenge. The council rounded up the captured followers, bringing an end to Vaxion's reign, for now. Victor stood in the wreckage of the church, his thoughts already shifting to New Orleans, where his new life was waiting. He had been away from the city for too long, drawn into the dark web of Vaxion's schemes. But now, the battle in Budapest was over and Victor longed for the familiarity of home. Lila Beaumont, the NOPD Paranormal Division detective, had become more than just an ally in his supernatural world. She had become a source of comfort, a calming presence in the chaos of his life. His thoughts drifted to her, to the quiet moments they had shared before he left for Europe. Her message before the battle still lingered in his mind a reminder of the calm she brought to his otherwise chaotic existence. Victor also missed the music, the soulful, haunting tunes he played on his trumpet on the streets of Frenchman Street. Music had always been his escape, a way to express the emotions he couldn't put into words. With Vaction temporarily out of the picture, he hoped to return to his music, to Lila, and to the life he was beginning to build in New Orleans. He and Pamela parted ways. She had her own path to follow now, her own demons to face. There were no words of goodbye. None were needed. 
Their shared history was too complicated for closure. Victor boarded the next flight back to New Orleans. The weight of his recent battle still pressing down on him, but the promise of something better, something peaceful, waiting for him back home. The familiar skyline of New Orleans greeted him as the plane descended, and Victor allowed himself to breathe for the first time in what felt like forever. But beneath his calm exterior, he knew the fight wasn't over. Vashion would return, and when he did, it would be a battle unlike any before. Victor had spoiled his plans, and Vashion would seek revenge. For now, though, Victor would return to his music, Lila, and the life he was rebuilding. But in the back of his mind, he knew the final confrontation with Vaction still loomed on the horizon. If you like this story and want to see more, click on the icon top left. If you want to help support our channel, please hit the subscribe button on the top left. If you have a good history idea, let us know in the comments. Thank you.